only thing required to set an injector response time long code is simply to loosen the solenoid. Not unhooking anything electrical, just backing off these fasteners. And it sets the code. Right now we have an injector response time long code. And all I have to do is tighten down this fastener and it'll get away. Tightening it down pulls the solenoid into position. And there it is. Pulls it into position so that the magnetic field that it produces can move the aperture inside the injector. So imagine you're sitting there idling and you have an injector problem. Will the ECM be able to tell the Caterpillar 8M3? Let's take a look. Nope. No codes, no status flags. Here we are again. 600 RPM, Atom 3 Caterpillar. No codes. And there it is. In order to set the code, the injector needs to be either physically unplugged or shorted. So what I just showed you about the solenoid being off and on the Detroit, it can detect the Detroit ECM, the DDEX, they can detect whether this is in position or not. So if this armature gets jammed, it'll actually throw a check engine light. So the ECM is so good that it can actually detect a mechanical problem in the injector. Of course, anything over here that goes wrong, it's not gonna see that, but if this is jammed in the downward position, the ECM will actually detect that. That's amazing. The cat, not so much. I was able to remove the solenoid, both of them, regardless of the 7.3 or the Series 60, and the cat ECM did not throw a check engine light. The only thing that it did, um, it just kept on running, and uh, I had to disconnect the circuit itself and set it to open for the ECM to respond and see that there was actually a problem. The Series 60 injector gets its mechanical energy for injection from this right here. With this keeper out of place, I can pull it right out. 
the basic idea here is as this plunger travels up and down, fuel sloshes back and forth in the injector body until the armature is pulled up. That closes the door to the fuel exit. And then at that point, when this plunger's traveling downwards, the fuel has no place else to go but out of the tip.